Right, so, oh, no audio. Bit the bullet, we're taking this apart. There's a guy who's taken one apart, and he's shown roughly how to get into it, so I just made a start. These connectors here, what you do to get them off is you, there's a blue, uh, I've got one over here, so you can see there's like a blue thing that you slot forward. There you go, like that. That's usually in that position, so you, you pull that forward, and then there's a squeeze there, and I think this one on the top as well, and then you, you slide that right back, and it's got to go all the way back. This one hasn't, has it? I might have broken it. But they go all the way back, you can see like that one, it goes all the way back. You make sure it goes all the way back to there, and then you can pull it off. And uh, these ones are quite straightforward, you know, you just lift and pull, and press and pull on some of them. And these, they fasten on to bits. Uh, the cooling system goes through it, and there's a bracket here which fastens onto the back. So if you undo that, and that's the earthing strap. So undo those three, and then that releases the back, and obviously take the connectors off the back. There's three connectors. And then <coughs> the ones off the front. I haven't cracked the cooling system because I might be all right without it because there's enough space there to get in. And I think that is the uh, that is the um, controller. So, uh, and you can see obviously there's a connector there that goes up to this, which is this is like a distribution unit. It weighs fucking loads, right? But it's all it is is just I don't know, IGBTs I guess. Inside coolant. <laughs> this is the input. This one here on this side which goes into that one and then that one's the that's the connect that's the power in to the um to the controller and then underneath there once i get the controller off we'll be able to see the motor and we can get into the motor well i might be able to drop them out as one i don't know i'm presuming there's coolant yes there's coolant in here to the controller so i may need to crack the coolant just to get that out there's coolant in the motor as well yeah, there's loads of these things. I don't know what they are. Some sort of a breather tube, I guess. I don't know, or a sensor. Anyway, um, they just slide off. There's like it's like on a flange, and you just slide it off, or you can you can open up the jaws and take them out. They're quite straightforward. And that's as far as I've got. So later on today, we'll probably be getting this out, and then uh, get to the motor, and we can get the motor out, and then we can crack the motor open and uh, see loads of jelly inside, which is what happens. Okay.